360 a gallon, a record for gas today, and it ain't over by far today. I want you to meet the guy who says 10 bucks is coming and maybe sooner than you think. First to Terry Keenan in New York City on this very real paint at the pump. Terry, how are folks holding up? Well, not so well, Neil. You know, it's become as synonymous with Mondays as rainy days. I'm talking, of course, about the weekly, weekly tally of just how high gasoline prices are going. And once again, like every other week this year, they are going up $3.60 a gallon on average. That is up 20% from this time a year ago. And here in New York City, of course, $4 gasoline, well, it is already a rea reality. People filling up here are often only filling up about 20 Twenty dollars at a time, not tapping off the pump as they usually did and filling up. And it is a so bad consolation for cash-strapped consumers as they look at the prices. I try to drive as lead, like not at all, you know, unless I have to. That's why every time I take the car out, I still have gas, but I fill it up anyway. Right now it's over over four dollars uh, per gallon, and uh, it's ridiculous. Well, and for truckers who are facing diesel prices averaging about $4.24, $4.99 here, that all triggered a march on Washington today. Some truckers now say it costs $1,200 to fill up a large rig and sky-high prices for diesel translating into sky-high prices for food and other retail items. Today, the White House weighed in on the situation. White House spokeswoman Dana Perino saying that the situation is one one that has no quick fix and it would be disingenuous to say otherwise. So some sobering words, but little comfort to Americans who are now paying about 10% of their household budgets to fill up. Neil? Thank you, Terry, very much. Well, oil nearing $120 a barrel. If it gets to 200, it was Dan Dorfman, uh, my good friend, who reported that my next guest was saying $10 for a gallon of gas can't be too far behind. Sean Broderick is the natural resources editor for moneyandmarkets.com. How do you arrive at that figure, Sean? Well, uh, actually, that's a worst-case scenario figure. I mean, he asked me how bad things could get over the next three years. If we have multiple problems going wrong, say, a war with Iran, say, a big problem with other oil fields around the world, and other things with that, it would take multiple things, but we could hit a price that high. After all, in Europe, people are now paying about nine bucks for a gallon, and they're still driving. And we don't have the uh, the like alternate transportation systems they do over there. You know, you think about it, it's an eighty dollar jump from where we are now, so it's not all that unthinkable. But uh, might it take those kind of severe supply disruptions to do it? Could just normal factors uh, over speculating, supply and demand, all of that stuff drive it eventually to that point? Well, things will move higher, but as any trend goes along, it gets much more volatile. So we should see much higher prices, but also lower prices as well. For example, back in January, I put a price on oil of about 127. We're there now. At some point, I'd expect a pullback, and $100 seems like a floor, but you know, it could go as low as 80. But then my next target after that is like 157. So we but will we, see well, some what big about, swings Sean, up and some big dips. I understand. But what about the argument, you know, these very high prices will eventually lead to a revolt at the pump, or, or in other words, hit on demand. We're seeing anecdotal evidence of that in, in cities and regions where gas is particularly high. Who's to say that these high prices don't lead to lower prices? You know what I mean? Well, I'm glad you asked that question because we're seeing anecdotal evidence, but we aren't seeing hard evidence. In fact, over the past year, gasoline use has actually increased by about half a percent, even as the price of the pump has gone up. So, so in other words, whatever I we're doing, people, yeah, whatever we're doing here in the U.S., which is one thing, it could be dwarfed by what's happening abroad, right? Exactly. That's exactly right. And there's a lot going on abroad right now. Okay. Very interesting. Uh, Sean Broderick, thank you very much. Well, forget uh, $10 gas. These truckers protesting in Washington have had it with diesel fuel already topping $4.24 a gallon. That, too, is a record.